Hi, I'm Danielle Bastian, and I've been asked to provide a short video about uh, my prayer life. Um, I did one last summer, but definitely things are a little bit different right now for me and for the world as a whole. Um, so I think for me right now, it's prayer has been one of those things that has really given me strength and something to hold on to. Um, you know, there's just a lot happening with COVID and the turmoil and unrest in our country with the election and everything. And, you know, frankly, it's can be kind of scary and it causes me some anxiety, um, not really knowing what's going to happen. But, you know, I've just been praying about it praying that, you know, God is working through all this for the good of his children and that no matter what happens in this world, like he is with us and for us forever, um, you know, through Jesus. So, you know, for me, it's really just been prayer has allowed me to just grasp onto something when everything feels like it's out of control. And I know that's something for me personally, I've had trouble like letting go of control of things. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot happening right now that's all out of all of our control, but even in my personal life, um, you know, I'm waiting on some things from the state so that I can start my new job. And that's caused me a lot of anxiety, not having control over that. And I'm just trusting that God is, is working through that in his own time. Um, and that I, you know, trust that he will take care of me through this time. Um, and just also just feeling gratitude, you know, even though things are really difficult for a lot of people, we also have a lot of things to be thankful for and to thank God for that he's blessed us with. Um, so I think that's, that's such an important reminder to be thankful in the midst of kind of this difficult, maybe low period that we're all feeling right now. So there's a few verses that have really resonated with me recently. Um, Philippians 4 verses 6 through 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I think that's such a important verse. I mean, obviously they're all important, but that one really stands out to me about not being anxious about anything, but instead of being anxious and using that energy kind of recklessly to use that energy to um, give prayer and petition and thanksgiving to God. You know, it kind of helps us focus our energy in a more productive way in communion with him. Um, and then another quote that I've loved for a long time is Jeremiah 29 11. Um, and actually my friend just gave me a journal with it stated on here. Um, for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future. So that just kind of correlates with the other verse. Um, just trusting. I think a lot of it is just instead of trusting in ourselves, trusting in God. And, you know, that can be easier said than done. And just remembering that he is ultimately in control and his control is good. And it is for his glory and for um, our protection and well-being. So... You know, being able to rest in some of those verses has been really helpful for me and just maybe thinking through them in my head, reciting them to myself um, when I'm just really struggling has been helpful for me. Um, and again, like I said before, just giving up control of things that feel like are out of my control and just saying like, you know, God, this I'm giving this to you. I, you know, there's nothing more I feel like I can do in this situation you know, I'm just giving this up to you that you are going to take care of this, you know, through your will and in your timing. And I think, you know, during this time of just a lot of unrest and turmoil and uncertainty and 
you know, life is very strange for a lot of us right now, or for most of us, um, you know, just having God to rely on, you know, when we feel like we're losing grasp of everything, you know, maybe we can't see our friends as often, or, you know, we, we don't have normal church or whatever it is, we're kind of losing that sense of community. I think having God to reach out to, you know, he is always with us, no matter where we are, what we're doing, He is always around. I mean, you can be sitting in a chair just, or making dinner, you know, just something mundane and, and be praying to him and talking with him, you know, in any situation about anything. And that's such a comfort for me to kind of have, have him as my lifeline. I mean, he's, he's the ultimate lifeline to have in any circumstance and just resting in that knowledge and resting in, in his goodness and his grace and in his protection, I think is just, is really helpful. At least it is for me. Um, <clears throat> so I, I hope, you know, I challenge you all to continue to pray. You know, it doesn't have to be anything formal. Just, just talk with God and just tell him, you know, tell him your, your concerns and your fears and frustrations. I mean, he can handle that. And, but also don't forget all of the wonderful things that he does, you know, the small things on a daily basis, the food that you have in your house, um, the roof over your head, the warm bed. I mean, there's just so much that I think sometimes we take for granted that we just need to focus, focus our energy sometimes more on those positive things rather than all the negative things we can't control. So I just, you know, pray for, for the church and pray for our nation that, you know, we can come back together again, um, as one country and just get through this and be stronger on the other side. So, um, thank you and have a great day.